Hey everybody, it's AJ at Front Door Realty, and today we're going to talk about five tips for listing your home this fall. I know it seems a little too soon, but fall is right around the corner. Um, we've decided to come up with a list of five ways to help you list your home this fall. Tip number one, it's still kind of a seller's market. Um, although, if you're selling your home, you probably started the conversation about six months ago with an agent, um, maybe maybe less, that's okay too. But something you need to consider is the fact that the market is slightly shifting. And with that, home buyers are becoming a little bit more selective as to the flooring type and the siding and how old the roof is and the price. So make sure that you're paying attention and listening to exactly what your agent is recommending. Tip number two, don't over improve your home. Make sure that you are getting the maximum return on your investment. So if you're gonna put in some different flooring, make sure that your neighborhood and the comps in the area actually um, bode well towards getting a larger return on that. Tip number three, don't limit the amount of showings. So I typically work with home buyers and the struggle that we constantly have is navigating their schedule with six or seven different showings and trying to figure out how to do it most effectively without zigzagging across the county. And then the third piece of that is trying to figure out what the seller schedule is. So um, having your listing agent put on the MLS ahead of time, you know, what days and times generally work well for you would make it a lot easier. And you'll actually get more people through your home and potentially more often. Tip number four. A few moments ago, I mentioned that conversations about listing your home probably started about six months ago. Back then, the market was a little bit different, and so now we have to be careful about overpricing the home. Since school has started and fall is, and fall is happening, like the leaves are changing and rain is coming, um, it's important to make sure that we're not overpricing your home based on the information we've had back in May and June. Instead, we have to take very close consideration of what's happening in today's market. So make sure that we are listening to the agents um, and looking at the comparisons for the neighborhood in the last month or so and making sure that we are strategically pricing your home to get the most people through your home. Another little tidbit on that is um, many times there are two or more homes in a general area that have the same floor plan. So make sure that we are paying extra close attention to what those homes are listed for as well and um, how yours compare. Tip number five, it does make more sense to hire a real estate professional when listing and selling your home. When you look at the statistics on how much more an agent sells a home for than the first sale by owner scenarios, you very quickly realize that the percentage of the commission is negligible in that event since the amount that you make on your home is more than the percentage you'd be paying for commission. And don't forget you're still going to pay a buyer's agent commission when selling your home as a first sale by owner. So you're actually doing yourself a disservice in a sense by uh, cutting out an agent who's actually marketing strategically and showing open houses and all that stuff for your home. Thanks so much for watching our video today. Again, I'm AJ at Front Door Realty. If you have any more questions about real estate, please feel free to call or text us at 360-450-4486. You can also email us directly at info at clarkcountylisting.com. And we have agents ready, willing, and eager to help you either figure out how to navigate the sell or purchase of a home.